what I've just done? Looks pretty simple, doesn't it? And it is. That's the beauty of ADP's laser scan system. It's been designed so just about anyone can use it, from inventory clerks to management. Laser scan hooks up to your ADP Elite computer system. So the only new hardware involved is a handheld scanner, a communications node, and a barcode label printer. ADP's laser scan is simple yet extremely powerful. It features a pre-stocking option for getting vehicle information into the system prior to delivery for speedier make-ready procedures. It lets you take fast and accurate physical inventory readings. And it prints out easy-to-read reports for quick reconciliation. As you can see, the laser scan system offers a wide array of problem-solving options. Now, this tape will give you a solid overview of the three main laser scan functions. For more step-by-step -step instructions, refer to the Laser Scan User's Guide. Now, let's take a quick look at how you would use the Laser Scan system at your dealership. The Laser Scan system has three basic steps pre-stocking, taking physical inventory, and reconciliation of reports. Pre-stocking of vehicles begins prior to arrival of the units. Information from the manufacturer's order confirmation document is keyed into the system. When the new vehicles arrive, scan the manufacturer's barcode label and assign a stock number. This automatically transfers all pertinent information to accounting and service. Assigning a stock number also automatically prints out a barcode label, which is then applied to the windshield of the vehicle. Once the cars are on the lot, the handheld scanner is used to quickly take an accurate physical inventory. Then, after you've finished using the scanner, that session's information is uploaded into a temporary holding file. Finally, we access all the information from the inventory data and create various reports as needed. These reports are printed on line printers or on the terminal and laid out in an easy-to-use format ready for reconciliation. So that's a quick overview of the laser scan process. With a general knowledge of a few key functions, you can begin taking control of your inventory once and for all. Now let's take a closer look at how you can use laser scan to save time, increase accuracy, and improve your company's management of information. All laser scan functions begin with a main menu screen. If you want to pre-stock, you'd select PS. If you want to print barcode labels, PF, and so on, entering the main menu or submenu you needed to access your desired function. Your first function would normally be pre-stocking new units. Pre-stocking lets you get a jump on Make Ready by automatically loading the unit's information into the ADP accounting and service files. To pre-stock, you simply key the vehicle data into the laser scan system. This is done prior to the vehicle arriving at the dealership. The information is taken off the manufacturer order confirmation documents. Once pre-stocked, vehicles coming off the truck need only a quick VIN confirmation and assignment of a stock number. Or if your vehicles come with manufacturer barcodes, you can scan them and upload. Use function USI. Option 1. Receive vehicles into inventory to assign a stock number. Assigning the stock number automatically transfers the unit's information to accounting and service applications and prints out weather-resistant barcode labels, which are then applied to the unit's windshield. The program is extremely flexible, with numerous other ways to get information into the system if you don't want to use pre-stocking, including add and update units in accounting, add units in VMS, unit inventory from lease and rental, add finance and insurance from F&I. No matter how you choose to add vehicles, LaserScan can print labels and track your inventory. LaserScan's print functions are flexible enough to print barcodes no matter how the information gets into the system. Options include printing labels for specific vehicles, which is useful for newly purchased auction vehicles and trade-ins. Or you can mass print labels for all vehicles entered in the system that have not had a label printed such as vehicles added through the accounting or service departments. You can also print labels for vehicles keyed in during physical inventory, if for some reason you find a vehicle without a label. 
Taking vehicle inventory in the past has been time-consuming and many times inaccurate. With ADP's laser scan, physical inventory is easy, fast, and accurate. Inventory is taken with this handheld scanner, usually by scanning the barcode labels we printed out during pre-stocking or by scanning the manufacturer's label. Oh, one word of caution. It's important to remember, never point this beam in someone's eyes. It could damage their eyesight. To take inventory, just point the scanner at a label. Pull the trigger halfway so the dot is centered on the barcode. Now, slowly move the gun in as you press all the way, and that's it. Your barcode information is in the scanner. You can also scan a factory label in the same manner. Move in close and scan. Some vehicles may not have a barcode label, or on occasion, have an unreadable flawed label. If that's the case, you can manually key in the last eight VIN numbers, just like this, and the system will record it as on the lot, but without a label. Later, you can print out a label for each of these vehicles and scan them so they won't be missing vehicles. Once you've finished a scanning session, you'll want to upload your information into a temporary file for further manipulation. To upload, return to the communications node and put the handheld scanner back in the cradle. Make sure a blinking full character sized cursor is on the second line of the display. If not, press the second key, which will move the cursor to the second line. Now press U, then enter twice. After a few moments, you'll see sending file with the number of the items being sent. When the upload is complete, the scanner rings and displays Scanner Ready, COM Complete. The scan data is now uploaded. To transfer the scan data from the temporary upload file into the laser scan inventory, use USI, Update Scanned Inventory. USI will ask you if you want to print a report of the vehicles to be updated, and if you want to start a new inventory or add to the one already in progress. The date and time of your last inventory is always available on the USI main screen. If you want to start a new inventory, choose Option 2. Start a new inventory. The program checks the scan data and updates the files. To add to the current inventory, choose option 3. Again, it checks scan data, updates your files, and allows you to return to main menu. Suggestions for using option 4 can be found in your laser scan user's guide. You can use exit to return to the main menu without making any changes. In any case, the information is now ready for printing out reports and reconciliation. Now it's time to learn how to create reports from all the information you gathered during the physical inventory. There are six main inventory report functions you'll want to become familiar with. SVR, MVR, SHR, OSR, SLR, and MLR. SVR stands for Scanned Vehicle Report. Using SVR allows you to print a list of vehicles you scanned for the inventory in process. You could use this report to verify all lots have been included in the current scanning session. MVR stands for Missing Vehicles Report. MVR prints out a list of all vehicles carried in the vehicle inventory, not booked in F&I, and not shown as being scanned. These missing vehicles need special attention during reconciliation. SHR stands for Scan History Report. This report tells you the complete scan history of all in-stock vehicles, how many times a vehicle has been scanned, and what lot it was located on. OSR stands for On-Site Vehicle Report. OSR prints out a report of all vehicles currently in stock, which may or may not be part of the current inventory in progress. The MLR, or Missing Label Report, and the SLR, or Scanned Label Report, allows you to inventory items with mini labels. SLR lists all vehicles for which a mini label was scanned, while MLR lists all vehicles for which a mini label is missing or not scanned. All six reports give you different ways in which to sort the output of the report and they work with the same easy process. Just follow the directions on the screen. Now, your report is ready to be printed on a line printer, which would be a complete report, or seen on your terminal screen, as an abbreviated version.
Another convenient function is IQ, or Inventory Inquiry. This function lets you get detailed information about a single vehicle in your inventory. So there you have it, a quick overview of ADP's laser scan system. It's fast, efficient, and most of all, easy to use. You should have a good idea of the three main processes, pre-stocking, physical inventory, and reconciliation of reports. For step-by-step -step instruction on these and other laser scan functions, review the Laser Scan User's Guide.